Hello everyone, this is Satvik here and this video I'll be covering a topic where I'll show you how you can hide files within audio files. So this is the video I already made on my channel. So where I shown you like how you can hide files like text files, doc files or any sort of files within an audio file. But the problem with this, uh, uh, that, uh, the demonstration that I made in this video is like it is based on a Windows application. So, you know, like most of the times we may not have access to Windows. Uh, like when we're doing some sort of stuff so then in this video i'll be covering a video uh like i'll be covering on how you can hide them within uh like same the audio files through the help of an application called as wave hider and also all the credit goes to the developer of this tool so this tool works absolutely fine and do show him some love uh, by starring it or uh, just doing some stuff so this application is completely based on uh, linux so you can run it on any linux okay so here for this you require uh you know go uh, a go language so make sure you have that go language uh set it up so i already made a video on how you can do that so you can just a uh, search away you'll find that out on my channel so this is very simple tool so this has two modules so you have wave height so here uh, uh you try to hide some sort of a file here in an audio file and uh, it also asks you for the password so this is these are password protected and also for retrieving there is an other domain uh, other uh, module called as wave reveal so these are the stuff so gap is like it's a parameter like how you can uh, how the files are uh, you know injected between an audio file so you can play with that okay uh, but here the author gives you like fight well so let's quickly dive in so just copy the link of this uh, github repository and also all the links will be in the description below so no need to worry out okay so i already have a file here an mp3 file here sample mp3 file and also secret.txt file but before that uh we'll i'll install the tool so just do git clone and just paste the url okay so that is it so let's go to the directory so c wave hider and if i do an ls you have a script called as build.sh just do sudo dot slash build.sh that's it this is the only command you need to run okay so this installs uh this installs all the requirements uh but the problem here is like the thing here is like i already installed this tool so it's working fine so no need to worry so i'm just going to come back okay so now you have like wave height okay and also the wave reveal okay so these are added to the command line okay like uh, to the path so so that you can uh, get it executed from wherever you want so wave reveal as well okay so both of them are like available here so you can search quickly whether they are installed properly or not so first let's start with the wave height okay so wave height okay so just mention a gap so i'm going with 512 you can go with any byte size you want okay so you can uh, 64 is minimum but uh, in order to don't you know I, like if you don't want to break the audio like more then keep the gap maximum okay so i'm going to put the uh like audio file hyphen audio file a u d i o uh, d i o capital f i l e and just give the file name okay so this is my file name you can download any file sort of stuff wherever you want okay and i want to mention the secret file as well but before that let me show you what i have in that secret file okay so cat secret file and you can see this, this just contains a text like this is secret that's it very simple so just mention the secret file and also the secret that you want the file that you want to okay so just hit enter now and now it asks you for an encryption password so give any password that you remember so you can see it it is encrypted and uh, hiding data inside the audio file and everything is working fine so now you can see there is a one more file created here so if i do an ls hyphen la or la anything is fine so you have like two files here uh, the size is very negligible here because the reason here is like the file the file that i'm going to encrypt within that particular audio file is very small but i also seen situations where it ramps up like tens or 20 uh, 20 times uh, when the file size are very big like i tested it on one of a word document which is having which is like 10 mb 
and it ramped up the size like to uh, 70 MB or so. So it also depends upon, you know, the content that you are trying to do. So now you, you have a two files here. So the file example MP3 web hidden. Okay. You can rename it and you can uh, hide it somewhere or you can do whatever you want. Okay. So now one, uh, if you want to extract it, so how you can do is uh, do it is like web reveal. Okay. So hyphen gap, you should mention the gap. Okay. But before that, uh, let's remove that, uh, uh, let's delete that particular uh, secret dot text file. Okay. So if I do an ls, now we don't have any secret dot text file. So now let's do web reveal. Okay. So hyphen gap, the gap size is going to be fightful because that is what I created uh, with and just give the audio file, which is going to be file and uh, file and uh, hyphen. Okay. So that's the thing and uh, output file as well is going to be secrets. Okay. I'll give an S and addition. Let me hit enter. Now it is asking me for the password. Enter the password with which you encrypted that. Okay. Now you can see it is uh, decrypted. And if I do cat secrets.txt, now you can see this is the secret. So this is an easy way to do. Like uh, if you want, like if you're comfortable with, you can just follow the guide here where I showcased it on an, uh, you know, using some sort of uh, application like uh, Windows application. If you are fine with that, you can do that. But if you are like command line freaks like me, then you can also use this tool. Like there are several tools uh, with the same, uh, you know, the same functionality. There are several tools I found that. But this particular tool is much interesting for me and it's very simple to set up and so on. So that is it guys like uh, about this particular tool and i hope you find this video help you found this video helpful and if you did that then just like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in these sort of stuff and also if you want to connect with me you can check out my twitter as well as the linkedin and also if you want to be part of the part of my channel uh, discord community you can check out my discord server as well so this is satvik signing off i'll meet you in the next video thank you